Time to take a look at the Jutsu you'll have available for your defense type character. My name is Goku and here are all the defense type Jutsu confirmed so far. At this point we've only seen three defense type characters through the trailers and gameplay that have been released and those are Choji, Kisame and the custom Shinobi from Gamescom. Choji and Kisame will most likely be mentors who teach you uh, some abilities in the game, so let's start by looking at what they'll have to teach you. Starting with Choji, his first ability is probably the spiky human boulder in which your character turns into a spiky ball that you fully control. You steer towards your opponent dealing some heavy damage and I believe your character is also immune during this animation, which makes this a very powerful jutsu at close range. You can also interrupt this jutsu by pressing the right trigger, which is a good idea if you're headed towards a cliff. Now whether Choji will actually be the mentor who teaches you this ability or not, that is still unconfirmed. This could very well be an ability that you have unlocked by default, but if it is taught by a mentor, then Choji has gotta be the guy. Next, Choji's second ninjutsu ability is the one where he uses his expansion jutsu to increase the size of his hand and attack the opponent. The official name for this jutsu hasn't been revealed yet, so I'm gonna call it Expansion Jutsu Giant Hand. Very creative name that I came up with. Once again, it looks like a good ability at close range. Choji spins around with his giant hand and knocks back any enemies around him. And because of this knockback, this makes it a good ability to put some distance between you and your enemies or try to keep them away from an objective like uh, protecting a flag or one of the control points. And finally we have Choji's secret jutsu which is the super expansion jutsu. Choji turns into a giant and then we don't really know what he can do since we haven't seen uh, the ability in full effect yet. We've just seen a little snippet in a trailer. It is possible that you have full control of your own giant character for a short period of time or it could just very well be something you activate, an animation plays out with a couple of attacks and then you revert back to normal. At this point, there's really no way of knowing. Those are Choji's abilities, let's move on to the next character on the list, Hoshigake. Kisame. The only ability we've seen Kisame perform so far is the water style shark bomb, in which Kisame sh some in which Kisame sh shum Ooh, okay. a shaman, a shark In which Kisame summons a shark that circles around him and then shoots off in the target's direction. So it works as a defensive ability because the shark seems to protect the character at the very beginning of this jutsu. And then it's also a ranged ability as the shark shoots off and hits an opponent that is far away. It's a very straightforward ability and it's actually our first ranged option for defense types. The second Kisame ability is his secret jutsu and we can't really confirm whether or not Kisame will be the mentor teaching this one because we've only seen the custom shinobi use it in the Gamescom build. And I'm talking about the water prism. Now this could be an ability that's unlocked by default but if it's not then from the announced characters the only one that we've seen do it in the anime is Kisame. Of course this could still be an ability taught by uh, some other unannounced character like Zabuza, pretty please. Anyway, uh, this secret jutsu takes a while to activate, but you can completely immobilize a character for a few seconds. First, a bubble will spawn at your target's location, then the bubble will explode, making anyone inside of it trapped and gasping for air, making this the perfect jutsu for setups, trapping characters and leaving them vulnerable for any one shot jutsu that could come from your teammates. So combo this with a Kirin, with a Kamui, and it's just easy to hit all of a sudden. And the final three abilities on our list don't seem to have any mentor or at least any indication of who will teach us these abilities, as they're all executed by the custom shinobi from either the Gamescom trailer or the Gamescom gameplay. And the first ability is the Sand Shield, and I believe this is Gara's perfect defense. This is how they chose to represent that in the game. Once you activate it for a short period of time, you'll negate any enemy attacks. They can't even come close to you. So if you're standing on an objective, they can't even contest it. And I think this ability just embodies the spirit of the defense type character. It says, this is my zone and you're not getting in it. This is my zone, this is my zone. This is my zone, this is, this is my zone. 
Now keep in mind that your movement speed is heavily reduced while this ability is active, so make sure you move before activating it. Next we have a couple of abilities that showed up during the character creation trailer, and the first one is the Earth Style Subterranean Voyage, which seems to be a movement ability, allowing you to reposition very quickly and doing so while you're underground, meaning you're invulnerable while you do it. This seems to be a great way to get close to your enemies and unleash something else, some other jutsu like the spiky human boulder which deals massive damage or to protect an objective by using the sand shield. The combo potential seems really really good with this ability. And finally the last ability on our list is the earth style rock wall which is not the official name it's something that I just made up but it's what it looks like and you guys know I'm very creative with names. Art style, rock wall. This is another ability that we see in the character creation trailer. It's another defensive ability that can protect you and your teammates from any attack coming from that direction. Just stand behind the wall and you're pretty safe. And these last two abilities left me wondering who would be the mentor that teaches you these two earth style jutsu? Do you guys have any ideas? Keep in mind the producer already said that we're not gonna have a lot of characters in this game so it needs to be one of the main characters in Naruto. So who do you think the mentor is behind the earth style? Let me know in the comments down below. Alright and with that we have all the jutsu confirmed for the defense type so far. On the left we have the ninja 2 and on the right we have the secret jutsu. So with these abilities what does your defense type look like? You can pick two ninjutsu, but only one secret jutsu. So let me know in the comments what your choices are and why. I'd love to see what your characters look like. And after you're done with that, if you feel like building a ranged character as well, you can do so by clicking the video up here. We go through all the confirmed abilities for the ranged type characters. If you're in the mood for something else, there's also this video right here. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name's Globku, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.